hello and welcome to episode zero of the Road to Dice Gear series. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to be explaining the premise of this series and the goals that I'm going for in this series. Uh, first off, uh, if you didn't see the title that I have on or the title of the YouTube video, I am an Iron Man. Uh, so everything here is going to be completely self-sufficient. I'm not just going to be able to buy these weapons or gear. Uh, obviously, I'm still going to be doing the group bosses. I'm not including that in the everything is self-sufficient category. Uh, so this series is going to mainly focus on PVM and getting the highest tier weapons and gear in the game. Uh, I'm going to throw up a slide here where it's going to show everything that I'm going for. And the things that are already filled in is everything that I've already gotten so far. So just running through the list, uh, starting at the top with the Seismics, I've done about 200 Virago, uh, most of which were coin shared. Right now I've got 69 Wand Shards and 51 Sing Shards. The numbers are a little odd because I've gotten a couple 7 and 8 man splits from Hard Mode Virago. I haven't done much Cowfight King at all. I've only gotten like 80-ish kills, uh, so I'm going to have to start doing that. I've killed 620 legions, so I'm a little unlucky on getting the Primus and Sextus signets, but it's not too bad. I've only got one Nox set, but I'd like to, just so I can have an augmented set for a PVM and an unaugmented set for Slayer and stuff. I have broken down a staff for Biting 3, and I've got an eye, a middle, and a bottom in the bank, but that's still fairly unlucky for my... Uh, 950 kills that I've done so far. I'm not worried about going Super Dryad or Axor. Uh, I've still got Mallory to get, and also our Axor is a huge source of bruise, which I'm definitely going to need for when I start Telos in the near future. The Spirit Shield set could potentially be the longest requirement on here. Uh, I'm at around 1900 Corp kills, and I've got a Divine Spirit Shield and an Arcane Spirit Shield, which is I think still consider to be pretty lucky to get two spirit shields and have them be uniques instead of one of them being a spectral or them being duplicates of each other. Uh, I got the divine at around 450 and I got the arcane at around 1500 I think. Uh, I do have the pet. I got the pet around uh, 600 ish. The Elijah is 1 out of 4,096, though, so that could take a long time to get. So it'll probably be on there for a while. To get the Tier 90 Defender set, I'm just going to need an extra Drygore, Offhand Ascension, and Singularity. So that'll happen in due time. I want to get all of the Acto Armor at raids, and then start getting duplicates of the bodies and legs so I can augment them. I'm at around 130 Yakamaru and 140 Beastmaster, so I think I'm around average for how many armor pieces that I have. This requirement for the series is time gated since I can only loot once every two days, so this is another one that might take a while. I haven't really even touched necks. I've got like 30 kills or so, and all but one or two of them are solo, and I've only gotten a Torva Helm from it. And I don't have my Scrimshaw on, that's why this is not going so well. I'm also trying to talk and do a Raxor at the same time, so that's definitely not helping me out either. I want nine Aftershock 3s, uh, one for each dual wield and two-handed tier 90, and then also one for each of the tier 92s when I get those. So far at Vindicta, uh, I've gotten two Lances and a Crest in my 200-ish kill count, so I've been pretty lucky there. I haven't done much Hellweir, I've only gotten like uh, 170 KC, and I wasn't even at max rep when I did it, so I'm not complaining about ha not having a wand or a crest to make planted feet yet. I want four Aftershock 1s and planted feet, because uh, I want one on a Sun Spear for all of the two-handed setups, and then one on a wand and a crossbow for dual wield mage and range, and then the fourth is going to be on a dark bow for shield swapping. This concludes episode zero. Uh, I hope this episode helped explain this series a bit. Uh, if you have any more questions, just feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll answer them the best that I can. I hope you're looking forward to this series as much as I am. Uh, episode 1 is coming soon, and no spoilers, but 
I start the series off right with a couple of insanely lucky drops. Uh, be sure to like and comment if you enjoyed the video. Uh, it helps my channel grow by affecting search results on YouTube. And subscribe if you'd like to see more.